Hey everybody, Adal here. Thank you so much for being here today. So today we're going to be looking at two Defo Lucy dolls. So I got these dolls from Sheen. I had actually ordered dolls of these from uh, Timu like back in September, but when they arrived, I had one that had a defect. So I was concerned about the quality and sent it back. And I have since regretted that decision um, because I think I was being a little bit too picky, which I'm usually not. So I have reordered them and we're going to take a look today at um, these two that I picked up. You can see the one on the right is clearly um, very Barbie extra inspired, um, which I think is really cool. These dolls definitely have very gorgeous faces and the prices, depending on what site you are able to order them on, are actually really excellent. Um, and Sheen, which ships from China, it arrived in only a week, so I was very impressed with that. Um, so this girl, her box art matches her actual doll pretty well, but I have noticed that there are some discrepancies in a lot of the other ones, but here are all of the dolls, um, in this lineup and oh my gosh, they are all so cute. So the one on the bottom left is the one that I had and sent back. Um, so I'll probably get her sometime in the future, but I just think that this is a really cute line. And obviously we'll get a better look at them when they are out of the package. And then we have this girl here who I really liked her hair. I think that it's a really cool and unique style. I think I only have one other doll that has a comparable hairstyle to this. So that's pretty fun. And then you can see her box art and her box art looks relatively similar to her as well. And um, there's a lot of different dolls in this line too. I'll have another video that has the other two that are on the back of this box. And for now, we'll take a look at these two dolls. So here's the one that uh, for me is reminiscent of, of Barbie Extra. She is so beautiful. And I have to say, I was not at all expecting the level of quality on these clothing pieces. Like this jacket here has an actually functioning zipper. And this jacket, I'm not sure what the fabric is, but it feels a lot like satin. Um, overall, this whole outfit is just really, really impressive quality. She also comes with this cute little purse that um, really goes with her sunglasses. Then her skirt is this nice flowy material. It's really cute. I mean, it's thin, but it's got a really like nice sort of iridescent shine to it. Now her hair, I was expecting to be polypropylene and it is, but amazingly, it is a really excellent quality polypropylene, which I've been coming across a lot of very tolerable polypropylene recently. But yeah, so her hair is, it's still very soft. It's very brushable. Um, and I'm very happy with it. You can see that there's just a lot of details here and she is a lot of fun. And these socks here, they're like, they're full socks. And I'll, I'll take the, the shoe off so you can see, you know, sometimes you just get like leg warmers with a doll and it doesn't like usually bother me too much, but it is fun when it is just a full on sock, which it is. And these shoes are super cute too. Okay, then she also comes with this little bunny headband, which um, I would put on, but I don't want to because I don't want to take off her sunglasses because they're too tagged on. <laughs> and then um, this is her little pet. It's a little bunny. It's on the box. I think it called it a super pet. And this is definitely a super pet. Look at how cute this is. She's got little wings. She's on a cloud. And then the doll comes with bunny headbands so that they can match. I mean, I am, I am just very much here for this. And then, of course, we need to discuss articulation, which is <laughs> really impressive too. Like, it's very similar to Barbie Extra articulation. She's got it at the knee, the elbow, and the wrist, uh, which are always really excited places to have exciting places to have articulation. Her body definitely feels like a lighter weight plastic than Barbie is made of. And then I figured I would just take off this jacket a little bit so that you're able to fully see her arms and so we can take a look at what her shirt's doing underneath. I assumed that it was a tank top. I didn't expect was for it to be a bodysuit. And it even has like this cute little detail at the base that you would never see unless 
you like redressed her so that's pretty cool and it's always nice to have a bodysuit when you know especially when you're going for this sort of look and you not to worry about the shirt like popping up um yeah so i'm super happy with her i think that she's gorgeous and a lot of fun i think that the quality is absolutely there and the design is absolutely beautiful So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Defa Lucy. Her hair, I'm super happy with it. When it was in the box, it you know it was a little bit roughed up, but um, it was just the way that she was laid in the box. As soon as I took her out, I could tell that her hair was going to lay flat. Um, and although this is polypropylene, I've never had an issue with doing a boil wash on polypropylene, so I can probably get that to lay even flatter once I do that, of course. And then this doll here, so she doesn't come with a pet or an extra extra um, like headband or anything like that but she does have this little purse um, that comes rubber banded to her and she is wearing a necklace now as you can see her face is really stunning all of the deaf lucy's that i've seen so far have really gorgeous faces um and then she has a little pair of white sneakers which for me personally i just can't get enough pairs of white doll sneakers so i'm very happy about this um i think that for the most part these dolls come with flat feet but i could be wrong but that's not something that bothers me she of course only also has the polypropylene hair um but it feels like the same great quality as the previous doll i think that her hairstyle is super cute with these little top knots and I love the color of her eyes they're like a nice contrast to the color of her hair like they're similar but like they're not exactly the same and then I just wanted to show you the two of them together of course we can't forget about our super pet here and the extra accessories and I will put um, a link in the description to where I got both of these dolls. I know I said on Sheen, but I know it just makes it easier if there's just a link. And yeah, I'm super, I think that their faces just, they look like a like an expensive doll to me. So I'm like really blown away by these actually. There are some non-articulated ones on Sheen as well that are only like $10. So you can't really beat that. Like that's just completely comparable to like a fashionista price. So I'm definitely excited to check those out as well. And in case you're wondering, because I did look at it, but I forgot to mention, the one on the left here, her shirt is one piece. So it's not like a, the tank top part on top of the netted part. Like that is one solid piece. I just wanted to make sure that I put that out there in case anybody was curious. And that'll do it for this video, guys. I really am very grateful to you for being here and watching this and supporting my channel. I'd be really appreciative if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, and I really hope that I see you in the next one. Other than that, guys, just have a really terrific, fantastic rest of your day. Bye.